it's really hard. It's like I, I was thinking I want to I want to die. I want to die because of this pain, but I can't. When first time uh, my recruiter was telling me that oh, Manila is very nice, he said, so I can wear a nice clothes and then he taking care of me. He told me that he can help me to reach my, all my dreams. First time in Manila, it was very happy because there's a lot of building. You wear nice clothes, you have your own money, you can stay in a nice house. So Manila is very nice compared to my place. We are six big teams inside of the house of my recruiter. My recruiter hurt me every day when I do something bad that he don't like because he want every day, he want I need to follow him, but if I don't follow him, um, he's going to hurt me, just punk me, slap me in the face in front of the people. I really want to kill him. I really want to die that time, but I can't. It feel very lonely for me because I was very far from my family and I can't tell them what happened to me because I was very scared. Good as to make me heal all the pain. It is in my second home I realize everything that you don't need to lose hope. If I see or if I hear or there is a victim of human trafficking like us, I just want her to comfort her, help her to move forward and just fight for your rights because that's the start where, um, where I stand now. <laughs>